huge win over Orlando City today. Um, what did you have to do to keep this team so focused after they clinched so early on? Uh, not much, to be honest. I mean, uh, these guys are, are determined, and uh, I think they have high aspirations, both for themselves and for this team and, and for this year. And uh, all year they've been a great group to work with, and uh, you know, it shows itself again tonight. So for, in, in regards to this game in particular, um, what did you see in Orlando early on, and what did you know you needed to do to them, especially um, early on in the game? Yeah, they ticked it up from the last time we saw them. They played with a bit more energy, and you know they were uh, you know, defending with a little extra bite, and you know playoff game a little, little bit more physical than than your normal game. But um, you know our guys went about it in a, in a great way. We we knew what to expect, and uh, you know stick to the way we played. And uh, I was real proud of the way that uh, we approached this game from from pretty much the start of the game through through 90 minutes. Aaron Long gets two goals in this game. Were you surprised to get that much uh, to get uh, goal production out of the defense? Um, you know, not shocked. Obviously, two of them come off set pieces. So, you know, one of the comments during the week was we haven't gotten a lot off of our set pieces recently. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that's gotten um, some goals off of our set pieces in the past. So, you know, maybe a couple fortunate bounces for him, but he, he handles handles them well, and he's a clever guy. And, uh, you know, the way he goes about uh, his, bez his business in the box is good. So I'm, I'm glad, uh, you know, he deserves a couple goals. Um, and it's always good, especially in playoff games, to get chance, to get goals off of uh, set plays. In regards to his progress, um, you know, because he's been he's been called up, um, so he's playing on, on both teams. Uh, is this a classic example for some of the younger guys that you would like to set going forward? Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons why he was uh, offered a, an MLS contract is the way he goes about his business, and you know, it would have been easy for him to, you know, say I'm. I'm a, Got an MLS contract now, and these games may mean a little less. But you could see that to Aaron, it's it's uh, it's in his DNA to to go after it and go about his business in the right way. And uh, you know, I thought it was a great performance for him, not just because he scored goals today, but the way he defended. And Michael Cox is not an easy guy to deal with, and uh, you know, Aaron did a great job. Lastly, Rochester Rhinos haven't beat them yet in two years. What do you guys have to do to, to get a win in the playoffs next week? Keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we're doing a lot of good things. Um, you know, they haven't beaten us here, so. Uh, we should have confidence. They haven't scored a goal on us here, so you know we just got. We know it's going to be a tight game. We know it's going to be a, a playoff game that's physical, and they're going to defend well. And uh, it's not going to be easy for us. But you know, the way we've been playing lately, I feel like uh, we're going to have a good portion of the game in our favor. And, and it's just about creating a play somewhere, and making a play, getting the right touch, and, and figuring out how to put the ball in the back of the net. And we showed today that that we've we've been getting pretty good at that. So. In the first half, you guys were up 1-0, but control, really controlling the game. What did you tell your team before you know, eventually going into that second half and floodgates kind of open? Yeah, we, I, it was one of those where you know sometimes your team plays really bad and you don't know what to say, and sometimes your team plays really good and you're not really sure what to say. So we gave them a couple little things to, to stay on top of, but it was more just encouragement. And um, you know, I didn't even have to say much, to be honest, because when I came in the locker room, the guys were saying, just keep going, just keep going, and um, that's pretty much what I told them. And then going into this next game, you guys are on an unbeaten streak, you know, going back to the regular season. How big is it to, to take this momentum into a big game against Rochester? Yeah, I mean, one of the things we've done during the during the year is, is just take, take things one game at a time, and that's what the playoffs are about. Um, that's what our focus was the last couple of games of the season, even when we had, uh, you know, first place wrapped up. And uh, the guys have really uh, bought into that. And, um, you know, I think some of it is this, you know, we have a deep team. There's a lot of competition. The guys have a lot of aspirations, and uh, that's a great motivating factor when, you know, when there's something on the line and then there's someone else that you're competing with uh, to get it. And, you know, we'll see who in the end is able to, uh, you know, put their best efforts in. And so far it's been, been a lot of guys.